and welcome to this episode of Nuts on Tour. This week we're actually coming to you from one of our favourite campsites, Botany Bay, the CL. So we've got uh, we've we've not filmed any of the campsite because we only did that a few weeks back, but we've been going out on little excursions. Hmm. Mm. Mm, a nice excursion today. So, we already got uh, here yesterday, didn't we? Yes, I shall put the what three words in for where we are, as in Botany Bay, and I'll put the what three words in for the other bits we've been to as well. But uh, no, we had a, we've had a nice day out today at Oxborough. Oxborough. Oxborough, Oxborough Hall. Hall. Yeah, nice little, uh, uh, it's a hall, but it's built like a castle with crenellated roof and all that lot and spiral staircases and... Yes, watch the video and find out. Yes, it belongs and to the Beddingfield family. The Bedding, yes. They still live there, apparently. Yes, they have, they a have wing. to. They have to. That's yeah. part of the agreement with the National Trust. Yeah. They have to live there. And then we called in on the way back at Good Goodestone. <laughs> Goodestone. Goodestone Water, Water Gardens. Gardens. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. yeah, it's very, very yeah. tranquil, very relaxing, yes. thoroughly enjoyed it. A little bit early, probably, to enjoy the plants because they're still growing and the lilies are only just underneath the surface on the lakes. But I should imagine in a few months' time, it will absolutely be stunning. A few weeks, no, a few months. Well, it depends. Months. If we get any nice weather, things will sprout and get a shove on. <laughs> so watch the video and see what you think. Back in a bit. Enjoy. Bye. Right. Well, it's now good afternoon and we are travelling along the new northern bypass around Norwich. Which, as my friend stated, there's lots of roundabouts. This is the A1270. And we have just had an absolute downpour. I'm not sure if it was hailstones or not, to be honest. Hail. It's gone from bright blue skies to a bit grey, but then we have got blue again over there. I've got Norwich Airport, or I should I say Norwich International Airport on my left. I suppose it is semi-international. It flies to it flies to Amsterdam. I think that's about as international as it gets. Oh no, they do do holiday packets. Oh yeah, there is holiday trips here and there. But uh, when I come down this bit of road, we'll see a bit more of it. But yes, in the trees up there is where you go to be... Pitans, offshore training and survival. Yeah, to, to be professionally dunked and Fired. Set, set fire to <laughs> and then try to drown. Yes, they, they try they set fire to you and then they try to drown you up there. So you are capable then of going offshore. Mr. Nuttall is now no longer required to do that, which Yay! He, he finds is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> the airport is over there. That's the hangars and the runway. Towers in front of us. Towers coming up in front of us up there. Like I say, and I can always re remember when Norwich was Norwich International Airport and it was a porter cabin. Museum. There's the air museum over that side. There's some oldies and goodies in there. We've got an Avro Vulcan in there, re refueler, and even uh, an air UK. Harrier. An Air UK Fokker friendship. <laughs> More of the runways there. And uh, we head on, continue on down here. This is the uh, the route down to the site. Well, the main, the road that goes past the site. We're actually going to be, well, not that you're going to see on this video, over in the trees over there. Yes, the sign is just coming up here on the old left. And we will be turning into Botany Bay Farm. 
a little bit overhung with trees. The nation is on your left. As you can see, it's a little bit. Fortunately, the trees aren't very big there. I thought about it. I'd have brought me pruners with me. <laughs> and then you come round the 18th-century farmhouse, which I think it is 18th-century or thereabouts, is actually out of Mr. Nutt's window which you can't really see and then that's the stable block and the site is down here right just going to take Monty off and push him out of the way <laughs> this is the neighbor or oh, one one of the work one of the working beasties aren't you Hey, one of the working beasties. <sighs> yeah. No, oh, widget. Widget. Didn't get me falling out of the bus because I still got the lens cover on. <laughs> Duh. Oh dear. So, back at Botany Bay. Actually, Monty isn't too mucky considering the, some of the traffic we've just been through, or the weather, should I say, not traffic, weather. <laughs> Move him out of the way. Then let Mr. Nut oh, put the big one in. And we are going on electric this time we're here. We normally go off grid, but we're going to go on electric just for a change. With our current weather situation, it could be snowing tomorrow. They're a bit narrow. They are hard standing, but they are a little narrow. We fill it. <laughs> we do. We actually fill the space. Go on, keep going. That'll do. Right, he's got it. Right, Mr. Knight is now going to set her in position. So, for turn the machiney machiney on. Dogs are doing their nut. <laughs> do fiddle. <laughs> No, it's not to play with. Can I press the buttons, Mum? Right. There we are. Now it's on. So EMP automatic. First thing that happens is it drops the air. It lowers it. Out of the uh, air suspension. suspension. Which it hasn't started doing yet. Yep, it has. So oh, yeah, I see it going. What? I see it. So? I can... There you are. Without me touching it, that's now going down. It's very, very gradual, isn't it? It's not something that you'd really notice. It's not a... Uh, no. It's a gentle... Ah. It's like it's just like breathing out. Oh. <laughs> it's gone down. She's up at the back at the moment. You can see the little bubble. Uh-huh. And here we go. And here we go. Squeaking yeah. into existence. Yeah. Down goes the front one and up she comes a wee bit. Right. 
She'll do all four. Now she's put the back ones down. She's going to lash it down in a minute. There, there's the back ones down. That one's down. Now she'll lift the front up. She'll now sort she'll herself across. out. Lifting the front, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. That's it. That's it, all done and dusted. She's now level. Right, well, we are on site. Just got the buster set up. Outside's nearly done. We are plugging into the electric for the first time since coming here. We don't normally. Mr. Nutt is doing as usual. We have the ours comes through the floor into the socket. Hang on, I need to go and get the meter reading. <laughs> Here the electric is metered, which does make life a little easier for, hang on, let me hold that up for, and we're going on to number three, I think. That's a photo, so plug into three, and do that. Turn that on. And Turn that on. And we have power, no doubt, which I will go and check. 4498.62. And the cable nicely spread out. We don't leave it coiled up underneath. Like you see in some videos, frightening. Because if they get hot, they can burst into flames. We don't have them on a reel either. We do sort of lay it across the top of the tyres because we know the fact the vehicle's not going out. Well, not only that, keeps it out of the way. From peeing on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we run it under the back and along the fence to there. Gosh, it's windy today. Good morning. Morning. Well, it's now uh, Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> Senior and, moment. I tell you, the day's all running to one. And we are on holidays. Going out. We're off to. We're off to Oxburgh Hall. Oxburgh Hall. It's a National Trust property, so we're going to have a shifty around. A bit bumpy this road. Apologise. The camera's a bit bouncy. But yes, going cross country. See a bit of a scenic route for a change, rather than all bypass and dual carriageway and all that sort of malarkey. Oh, we've got one coming. So, yes. Uh, so, it's a bit of a, an adventure for a start to get there, isn't it? Oh, yes. No, not on roads that we know, but hey ho. As you can see, it's a dull day. It was lovely about six o'clock, but the clouds have rolled in doesn't bother us. But if we're inside, it don't matter. And unfortunately, we don't shrink in the wet. OK, we will catch you in, in a, a wee, wee while. while. Well, we've arrived at Oxborough Hall, which you can just see over the wall over there. National Trust, plenty of car parking. Probably more shade in the height of summer than there is at the minute. But Let's see what it's all about. Right, well, we're starting outside just before the weather turns. This is the walled garden. Very pretty. Lots of nice apple trees. And there's rhubarb. Rhubarb, rhubarb. <laughs> glass house they've got their onions in so have I and the carrots and the chives and the carrots and the onions <laughs> mm. I think mine are doing considerably uh, a Better. bit more than them <laughs> yeah definitely and this is the little the potting shed otherwise known as the second hand bookshop <laughs> and, uh, this 
typical of National Trust. A lot of books. Mm. The art of Western riding. bit that I'd get dragged to straight away. Wine book. Wine book. <laughs> wine book. Wine book. <laughs> wine. Wine and more wine. The American Guide to Wines. French white wines. <laughs> Lots of even kiddies books. And I'm not sure if this is actually live out on the estate. The deer busy noshing their way through <laughs> the undergrowth. It must be. That's a really swish looking. This is what you could have seen if we'd actually got into the grounds, which a lot of it is shut due to the wet. <laughs> okay, we're now through the gone round the garden, well, gone round the wall gardens, and this is Oxborough Hall. Pub quiz question for you. What? Where do cultivated apples originate? What country originated cultivated apples? Lord only knows. <laughs> well, according to the sign back there, Kazakhstan. Damn. Oh, yeah, somewhere local. Yeah. Not Kazakhstan was the country that started cultivating apples. Uh, Not what I would have expected, no. but there you go. <laughs> no, true enough. True enough. Hi. So yes, this is the the hall and its moat. Oh, I presume it was more like a castle than a hall. Well, yeah. Yeah. I call it a hall though, don't they? Yeah, I know it's called a hall, but lovely. Yeah. Let's hope it doesn't. I think you could wade across the moat by the looks of things. Yeah, well, perhaps. But uh, once you'd waded across, <laughs> you'd then have quite <laughs> you've a... You've got to shimmy up the walls yeah, to get in. You'd then have quite a climb. Yeah. I mean, yes, it doesn't look particularly deep. How much of that is silt? I don't know. Yeah, it's still, in, still impressive though, isn't it? Very. <laughs> At least they don't have to have gutters, they just pull straight in. <laughs> Looks like it's got a solar roof, doesn't it? <laughs> it's got a new roof. But yeah. Oh dear, the tree at the end didn't make it. Oh dear, yes, that certainly looks a bit like it's had it. So this is the entrance. You've got your own bridge to get in. This is the outside of the shop. Love the wisteria. Head of the coffee. Well, just taking Lady Nut in the tea room and uh, had a little bit of lunch. It's very, very nice. So, this is the inner court. And now we'll go and have a look inside the hall. The main entrance. And the shop with the lovely wisteria. This is like the inside courtyard where the trash would have been dropped off if you were visiting. And in through some rather spectacular doors. <coughs> That's a long dark corridor. <laughs> Go on your jet ski. Yeah. The family still live the family still live here, don't they? Bedingfield family. Yes. I do believe.
one drop in the auction of the house. And that was bought by a local builder or whatever in the auction for 5,000 pounds of offers. And he was going to put it down and uh, create something of his own design here. And the people in the auction people were responsible, didn't like the idea of that. So they approached the family and said, if you can raise 5,000 pounds, then we'll give the house back to you. And <laughs> Okay. And, and that one to lie down. And that's about it. Priest hole. Yeah. You had to be little in them days to fit in some of these little cubby holes. There's a priest hole up there. <laughs> He's busy showing somebody at the minute. <laughs> You would not, yeah. your height, you wouldn't be able to get in it. via a tower and a spiral staircase. Imagine clattering up these if you'd had a bit to drink. Rushed up and down these, would ya? Imagine coming down here in a full set of armor. And here's some of the said mm -hmm. armor that you'd have had to tramp down the stairs in. Yeah. <laughs> Good grief. And right. more carved furniture. Right. Ah, oh well, that was Oxborough Hall. I'll have a walk around it of the, the path round and take some pictures at the front. We well, just come down the spiral staircase that's actually inside that tower. <laughs> and as Mark just pointed out, albeit I hadn't got the camera on at the time, the windows have now got plastic up at them, but they wouldn't have done in that day. So if you'd got a wind blowing, it'd have been a bit fresh. So yes, this is the moat around the edge. <laughs> I'll just take a quick picture of the front. Both. It's a chapel over there, isn't it? Walking around? No, I was just, well, I might walk down to that corner oh, and just have a look. Oh, I've got a little bit of battery life left. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. And I'm assuming where the curtains are is where the family live. What, what you mean? And the grounds all out there. Pig Central over there. <laughs> Milk and bacon. But yes. There are walks around the grounds, but unfortunately just at this moment in time, they're a bit boggy and some of it's been closed off. As we've had that much rain, he's not impressed, or she isn't impressed <laughs> with the dogs. So 
Let's see. As you can hear, oh, they've actually got a, a drainage thing. If it gets a bit full, let some of the water out. Yep. <laughs> got a filter system on the other side as well. Yeah. It drains into this dike here, eh? Yeah. And this side looks a lot different from the rest of it, doesn't it? It does. That's the probably a resident. Where is his or her I don't know. So I was just thinking they're normally if there is well, I don't bears. think that's nesting, it's just sat there. Snoozing. Snoozing, yeah. It's probably decided the best thing is hunker down and keep out the cold. So yeah, this is the other side. Got a little set of steps down there to the moat, so do you reckon the kids used to swim in it? <laughs> oh, I had little, little rowboats. Little rowboat, probably. Little rowboat. They'd be paddle boarding today, will not they? Yes, yeah. It's probably actually something good to learn on, to be honest. And there's the towers on the other side of the entrance. So, yeah. Nice visit. Worth it. Back in the car, heading back towards the motorhome, 30 odd miles away. Oh, well, I thought we were calling it. To but we're going to stop off at Geddeston. Water, water garden, gardens, which is actually just down here to be perfectly honest. Had an enjoyable hour or two wandering around Oxborough Hall, had lunch. So here we are now at Goodestone Good Good Water Gardens. So, uh, six acres. Six acres. There you go. No set no set route or path, just wander as you feel free. Yeah. Wonder where you want. Cost us 16 quid to get in, that's for both of us. And uh, Not the cheapest, away. but if it's actually paying Look for... Look on top of the shovel. Yeah, if it's paying for the upkeep as well, so be it. There you are. Little Robin sat on top. <laughs> They love shovel handles, don't yeah. they? Yeah. This is the East, East Pond. Pond. That's the little hut up there. A little, a little weir. And then there's a bridge that we've just walked over from that direction. And then along here. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is the East Pond. That's the road up to it, or path up to it. And then this is actually the East Pond. Some mighty big water lilies in there. Not quite at the surface yet. We're still in April, so they've still got some growing to do before they break the surface. Mm. And then just round here, there's tea room and toilets. A little shady nooks to go and eat your food and hide in. So, another little bit of a weir and quite fast flowing. Yeah. And then into the other side. Lovely. Just down here it said there was a hide, so I presume it's uh, out into a wild part so you can watch some of the uh, some of the wildlife and the birds. If you are very quiet you may see a kingfisher. So uh, I don't know if there's anybody in but we'll be quiet for a minute. And Here 
set of peacocks. See what uh, We did actually see some wildlife. There's a little duck foraging for his lunch, and the peacocks in the distance again. And off he goes. Here comes Lady Note trundling along. <laughs> Just in a real one, so. Beautifully tended. And we just walked from across there, round the corner. There's Lady Nut. How about this for a gnarly old willow tree? Eh? Uh, Huge thing. It's got to be four or five foot across that. And then another bridge in another bit of the waterways. Quite peaceful and tranquil here. I was loving it. I'm chill out for a while. Haven't seen many fish. Haven't seen many fish at all. Mm. And that's the circular walk back. Of course, we've just done mostly of the outside. There's also all down the middle, across the bridges and through and that. Could spend a lot of time, could spend a good day here. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. A little bit different. Uh, just some of the things that we've been doing while we've been staying at Botany Bay CL. Uh, last the, the vid, There was a video out, I think, March time, wasn't there? When we were here last, Somewhere something like that. And we have done one previously in back in 2022. I think it was either episode two or episode three that we came here. Oh, I was going to say it was September 2022, and I know I was halfway through my my chemo so we just managed to walk to the lake but yes i was as i didn't have hair then nope. <laughs> but yes so i hope you enjoyed the little snippets you've seen in this video um, there will be another version but not next week because next week's is the first one of the month so it's a van, van of the collective, collective next week yes so uh and i am not 100 percent sure what the uh i I think it's something to do with where we get our gear, gear from. Gear from, I think so. Yes, yes. I haven't, uh, I haven't checked yet to see what. And the... talking about things coming up, up and coming. So we've just booked for the van life and overland show. I think that's what it in is. Newbury at the end of July. So if you uh, if you want to come along there, there's music. It's country and western themed. There's demonstrations. Oh, there's all sorts of music, I think. There's, I think there is all sorts of music, but there is yeah. it is country and western themed. There's uh, cooking demonstrations. I believe there's line dancing going on. There's all sorts. I will give more details as I find them out. Yes. I Until think uh... next week. Bye for now. Bye.